Thank you, Mr. President. Um, as you know, and my colleagues know, I represent the 29th Senate District, which uh, is home to Senator one of Serrano. the largest, I'm sorry? Are you on the bill? I'm sorry, on the bill. Senator Serrano on the bill. I apologize. Uh, East Harlem, the South Bronx, uh, some of the neighborhoods that have the, a very long history of immigration, and uh, not just recent immigration in the, with the Latino community, but for generations of Irish Americans and Italian Americans who first called East Harlem and the South Bronx home. And it's a rich tradition that I cherish. Uh, in the Bronx, for example, we have one of the largest and emerging West African communities, and it's a wonderful thing. My wife and I are raising our two children in our community because of that level of diversity that we feel enhances our children's upbringing, that it is something to be celebrated, not feared, that it lends itself to a deeper understanding of our purpose as humans on this planet. For many years, uh, one of the toughest situations I have found in the immigrant community is this level of fear and trepidation for immigrants to come forward when they've been the victims of crime, when they've been the victims of, of any malfeasance, they are reluctant to come forward to report domestic violence, to speak out against harassment in their apartment building or place of work. And that chilling effect, I believe, has made our communities everywhere less safe. I feel that if we ensure that immigrants feel that when they come forward or when they interact with any agency, government agency, that they will not be questioned about their immigration status, which unfortunately may not be perfect when you consider a lack of comprehensive immigration reform and real immigration leadership for many, many years, you can see how immigrants would just not want to rock the boat much, maybe not report what's happening, maybe not want to be able to provide the information that they need. So my, my big concern, and I've seen some, some real data on this, has been the chilling effect that it can have in a bill such as this would lend itself to that. And I also fear that legislation like this uh, or, or discussions around issues like this sort of panders to an ideology that the immigrant community is somehow prone to criminality, when in actuality, we are a nation built on immigration. We are a nation that is so wonderful because we dared to come up with something that no other nation in the world had ever done before. And that is to welcome people from everywhere most who were fleeing very difficult circumstances, imperfect circumstances to say the least, to come here and build a new world for themselves, to build a new life. And it's, that is why this is the greatest nation on earth, because we have dared, we have risked to do something so crazy, to break through the notion of a homogenous society and say that through this diversity, we will create the best that we can be. So I know this is sort of a, 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 a much bigger uh, way of discussing it, but my concern with a bill like this is that it would have a, a sort of un, unintended consequence of a chilling effect where the communities will actually be less safe when you have less people coming forward and reporting crime, when you have less people coming forward and, ex and interacting with law enforcement. You know, one of the things that I have found that has made my community in the South Bronx where I live so much safer over the years has been this really great interaction between the police precincts and the community. And that's something that has grown really to a great degree in the last 10, 15 years. Where at every community event, you see the police there. They're there to interact with the kids. That they're teaching them a lot. There is this breakdown of this myth that there needs to be this fear and tension. 
between law enforcement and the community. And I think that has made the South Bronx so much safer than it was when I was a kid in the 70s and 80s growing up. And I hope that that continues in all communities. And I hope to see that everywhere throughout this, this nation. But I, I feel that this bill unintentionally could chill that and make it harder for that type of good interaction, that good sharing of information from happening. So I will be voting against this bill for those reasons. Thank you, Mr. President.